Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys your weekly reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is coming towards you guys this week. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate your I appreciate I appreciate every single one of you guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alrighty here. Okay, Aries, as you all know, these readings are for sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. They're timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the rules as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check out your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Let's get started here. Let's see, what is the overall message for my Aries universe? Overall message. Feast. Let's see here. Slow down and celebrate yourself. So this week is going to be about you slowing down, celebrating yourself, enjoying you, enjoying your tranquility, looking out for yourself. It's all about you, baby. Some of you guys may be, may be celebrating your birthday this week. Well, no, you can't. You may be celebrating a family member's birthday, but you, you'll be celebrating. There's something that you, you're going to celebrate, and it's about you maybe celebrating a big achievement here. A raise, a promotion, a new relationship. Hey, shit, you never know. Oh, my God. Look at what just came out. Three of Cups. Celebration. There is something you're going to get ready to celebrate this week. Okay? You may have gotten a promotion at work. Like I said, you might have gotten engaged over the weekend uh, with the Knight of Swords. This surprise came out of nowhere because it's a Knight of Swords in the reverse. So some of you guys may, like I said, may have gotten engaged this past weekend. And you're getting ready to announce it to the world. And there's a celebration coming towards that. But overall, there's a lot of good times right now. And it's all about you, Aries. It's all about you. Everything that you've done, everything that you've worked so hard for, it's all about you. With the Four of Pentacles, you held on to every single one of your dreams. You held on to everything that you wanted to do. Look at with the Seven of Cups here. You held on to everything that you wanted to do. And finally, you're seeing the fruits of your labor. You're getting, look at Ace of Swords. You get, new, what in the world? This is crazy, guys. You should see what just fell. Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Because you were truthful to yourself. Because you knew what you wanted. And you know how you wanted to get there. Guess what? That Wheel of Fortune is turning in your behalf now. There is a lot for you to celebrate, Aries. A lot of celebration coming towards you. Let's see here. Eight of Swords. Okay. For a while, I feel like you were stuck in your head. Not knowing if this was ever going to come to fruition. Not knowing if this was ever going to be um, what you wanted. Felt burdened at times. Felt like things weren't ever going to change. But boom, finally, things are changing here. Some of you guys may even be reconciling with somebody here. Because you got the Temperance card and the Three of Cups. So it could be reconciliation, celebrations, of course. You know, there's going to be balance. There's going to be harmony. There's just going to be so many good things coming towards you, Aries. This week is going to be a week of celebration, a week of recognitions. Um, I don't know why I just got somebody's parents is celebrating a 50th. You guys are getting ready for that, maybe. You know, even though it's, I know we got to do social distancing, but shit, 50 years married to the same person. Damn, that that's an achievement, like, in itself. Like, I don't know if I could put up with my person for 50 years, but... Um, at the end of the day, like, it's just so much to celebrate. And if you really think about it, we, we're finally coming out of one of the toughest times that we've all gone together through in this world. So, yes, it's time to start celebrating because places are starting to open. Things are starting to happen. My daughter's in the middle of planning her wedding. God willing, everything goes good in September. But things are starting to change. So, we're able to start planning here. With the Ten of Swords in the reverse, um... It's time for a new start. It's time for a recovery. You're forgiving people places. You're forgiving people that have done you wrong in the past. Okay? You're forgiving that. You're letting it go and you're moving on. This is what's allowing you to have these new beginnings that you have so wanted. Okay? I don't know. Some of you guys are going to be reconciling. That's what I hear. I hear reconciliation. 
Um, I hear just a lot of celebration. Look, you got the devil in the reverse. Somebody is releasing toxicity, leaving uh, behind addictions, greed, envy. Like things are just changing. Things are just changing like crazy in the way that you never expected. And it's coming out of nowhere with this Knight of Wands, okay? It's definitely coming out of nowhere. You got that Knight of Swords in the reverse and you got this Knight of Wands. You've been very passionately, passionately waiting for these changes and boom, here they are. The Three of Wands. You've been planning. You've been patient. Okay, you've been passionately waiting for these changes. And here they are with the Three of Wands. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here, you got stability on your side. Okay, this is you right now. You're this Queen of Pentacles. You're holding the world in your hands. Right now, everything that you have gone through, everything that ha that, that was heartbreaking to you in the past, when if you might have been going through financial situations, a heartache, you know, just whatever it is that was going on, that has all come to an end because now it is time for you to celebrate, Aries. Now it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor, okay? All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification button if you want to book a personal reading with me. The information is in the description box below. You guys have a good one. Bye.